So it's such a nice day outside. I decided to spend my second day off to walk around. But yesterday it was really rainy and it wasn't that pretty outside. I'm not looking to spend too much money because tomorrow I'm actually getting my nails done with Nasa. But this is how my hair looks like with the gargoyle thing. Day two without washing it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably remask it again because I really like the color. I actually enjoyed a lot. How do you guys think these glasses look on me? It took me a while to like get used to it because I really don't like wearing sunglasses but I bought it for a reason right so I gotta use it up. I think my plan today is just walk around the usual Young Street and check out some things. And then I also brought my subway pass just in case I get lazy but it gives me some sort of like I guess cardio workout or whatever. So far, got Yu Choi. Never knew it was called Yu Choi. I'm just looking at some basic stuff. Ooh, I might actually get one of these noodle packs to the shiitake noodles. I like that they're in individual batches, so I don't overeat any of that. But yeah, so far, so good. And it's act oh god, I look ridiculous. And it's actually before rush hour time, so it's not so busy around here, which is great. But I find that my face is too big for these sunglasses now. Whatever, it is what it is. I think I'm finally at my last destination, which is Winners. Uh, but ooh, I already see something I'm interested in. But I went to this like Asian beauty marketplace, which was pretty nice. But it was a little bit awkward, because, which is one of the reasons why I don't really vlog when I go to Pacific Mall. But they get really like antsy when you want to take photos of their stuff, I guess, because they think... You're like a marketer trying to copy their items you know what i mean so yeah um i asked them like can i take a photo and then it was so awkward because they were literally looking at each other wondering if i'm allowed or not and i'm like oh it's okay if i can't so that was freaking awkward as hell but now i'm just at winners to look at random stuff and to get more cardio into my day but i think i'm gonna call it a day after this and I got my two bubble teas which is hilarious because it's for two dollars and 22 cents because it's like a Coco's uh Coco is like a bubble tea place it's like they're special right now so I thought why not but yeah we'll see what I get here and call it a day so there's like these colors where it changes color if you use a hair straightener on it it's quite interesting and then this one over here changes color when you're in UV light. Not what I'm looking for. So I'm in a different shoppers to see if they carry the Alme line here, but I don't see it. I guess Alme went out of business or it's only a Walmart thing. That's so sad because there's a concealer that I always get from them. Oh, but I found Annabelle so I can get my lip liner here. Finally got home, so now I'm just gonna clean the whole apartment. So at least it's like keeping myself active. But man, I can't wait to drink my milk tea, to be honest. Can't wait, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recolor or repaint my hair with that nice dye again, just to use it up. So let's start it. All right, so drinking my first bubble tea milk tea i think i mentioned it earlier but yeah i was prepared for it the lineup was long so obviously i bought two why not because usually one of these is for like almost five bucks so i got two for one basically but yeah gonna drink this make my pasta i season like sriracha soy sauce some thai peanut seasoning which i kind of regret because it doesn't taste that good oh there's alex and then I'm also uh, boiling some shrimp so then later I can mix it all in with some creamy alfredo and put in some pasta. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, so I'm finally done. It actually tastes not bad. So I used, as always, the cognac noodles. So this one is the fettuccine. I mixed it with the angel hair. I was gonna do just angel hair, but I thought about it. Like, eh, just do a little mix so at least I have leftovers and a little variety and it's actually pretty good there's shrimp in there the chicken i showed you guys earlier i think 
and I'm gonna start meal prepping now so I don't have to cook for the next couple days. Yeah. Got about three Tupperwares of it, a little bowl for later after I work out. Man, now I see why people would prefer going out. Like honestly, going out to eat is lovely. I love it. And if I had the money, I'd do it all the time. But because for me right now, saving money is more important than going out and eat all the time. So yeah, that's why I meal prep a lot. It's very rare to see me like buy food for work. Like, I mean, not groceries, but you know, like go to the food court and get something. But look at my hair mask. It's drying up very nicely. I mixed it with my Lush Roots mask just so um, I could get more out of the color because there was only half a jar left. But yeah, I can't wait for the color to live its way. And I'm not gonna lie, when I see myself with like a darker gray, I kind of low-key miss having dark hair. I know that's crazy, but I'm not gonna wait until probably when I hit 30 to go back to dark. Um, which is in a way scary, but that's next year. And yeah, we'll see. But right now I'm just enjoying the silvery hair and I'm not gonna retouch my roots until, what is it? Until I go to Montreal with Alex. Green with peas. Turkey, we're going on an adventure. Hi. We're probably gonna just check out Square One and Dixie. That's the plan for today. Cause yes. he has work at five. But see, this is my hair color after like three days of using that gargoyle thing. So after today's wash, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after a wash and it's gonna be like back to silver. Oh. So I'm here with Turks. I haven't been in this mall for so long since my parents. And they renovated a lot. Like there's an actual report. I ordered something that I usually don't get anywhere else. And then I felt so bad because Turkey actually had to pay for me because I forgot cash. Like I don't have cash on me, I only have card. And it was cash only. So I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, we're gonna eat here first and then we'll head out to square one. The whole thing is automated? Yeah. No way. So apparently now we can like order pizza off a machine and then they cook it in here. And they send it out. So cool. That'd be pretty cool. Pepperoni. You yeah, I saw frozen. my buddy yeah, do it. Yeah, it is frozen because it's cold. Oh. So you can get a cold one for $9. And if you want a high, $10. So it's a dollar to heat it up. That's pretty cheap. Right. Is there a pizza place around here? They would probably feel gypped. Yeah, Yogurties used to be here. It's not. She's here and she's showing me the ropes. What? What's all this? You oh, this is my little... Oh, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> This is my little Tupperware with, where I roll all my shit because I can't do anything just like, you know, spontaneously in public. I am just re-rolling a really high quality pre-roll because I'm not going to have this gram and a half fatty to my face. Anyways, um, so what she was really focused on was my grinder, which looks like a tiny beer can. Can you yes. see that shit? But little do you know, it's like a super fat... Really high capacity. Fuck, like, yeah, it's fat as hell. Really wow. fat, high capacity grinder that it I reminds got. Reminds me of those like Japanese lunch boxes. Like, different Girl, layers. like bento. Yeah, bento. <laughs> you don't, don't kill me. Don't call my grinder a bento. But yeah, she was so charmed by it. I'm like, girl, this is, this isn't like canned coffee. This is for weed, my friend. <laughs> oh, whoever's gonna watch this that smokes is gonna laugh because this is. Literally like a toothpick joint compared to most things. Wait on the potato, everybody. It has grown. Wait. Shit. <laughs> okay, we can leave it open and oh, see how <laughs> and see how long it gets. Ew, it's like moist in there. This just makes sense. Oh my god. Come on, stay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna be trying these two chips. <laughs> Couldn't say no. It's like limited edition. I'm also getting my roommate to help me out. <laughs> so let me see. My best friend actually said this one's really good. Better than the original. So I kind of want to see if that's true. So let me try. And how about like a fucking huge zip right here. 
I'm gonna rescue on this one. Yeah. Spicy cheddar. It's actually not bad. But it tastes more cheese. It don't taste yeah, like it. No. I think I barely I barely taste both. Really? This one smells a little weird. Ooh, it's like white. Oh, that's working out. Because it's not the same. It yeah, and the color. Yeah, it looks like it's uncooked. It's actually not bad though. Right? It's like a lighter version of the actual chips. Yeah. Johnny probably shouldn't be driving a motorcycle. Yeah, that's really not too and bad. Hmm. But I like the crunchy ones better. If I had to choose. So We've made it to our destination. Hey, Sasha, are you happy? Yeah. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Go, the whole park is to ourselves, so there's nobody else here. Just came back from Hamilton, and I didn't, I didn't vlog at all, actually. I think it's because, like... <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this year, especially, my swing of vlogging has gone down a lot. And look at the face. It's like going through a very oily stage at the moment. So I gotta put some translucent powder on my face. And this is like with a light serum. I didn't even put um, any moisturizers really on there. But look what I got! I'm so excited to do another Fashion Nova try on haul. And this time the outfits are a little bit more um out there which i find and i definitely want to order more for this summer just so i can do another try on haul as well and i'm finding that i really like doing try on hauls it's really fun but today i do have work around 5 30 so i do have to leave home soon look at my hair there's actually still some green on the roots which i'm kind of surprised but lena was telling me how um the green is really hard to take out which i'm not looking forward to and i'm in that split dilemma stage of do i rebleach my hair or do i go back to dark i don't know yet i'm still deciding hence why the roots are pretty um grown in but i kind of want my roots to grow in a little bit more just because i do have those breakages that i showed you guys earlier see so i'm trying to grow that out as well and the only way to grow it out is if I let it grow a little bit longer, maybe when my hair gets to here or something. But my hair is looking a little bit like it's obviously fried, but it could be worse. And I like I like the hair right now, the hair length. I'm hoping to grow it out more. But yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna make some food now just to eat before work. Also maybe work out, like do a quick light workout. And man, next week I'm legit working every day. Like so three of them are nine and a half hours long which is insane but the rest are like three hours two hours oh an update on a potato i don't know if i even vlogged this before but the potato is growing and i put my giraffe in there which is quite funny um i think i'm gonna mist this thing probably soon because i don't want it to die and i think it's really cute in a way it's kind of weird but it's cute at the same time but i did miss my apartment it's messy again because they're still doing the pest control thing with the whole roaches. I don't see as much as before, but I'm glad that they're taking care of it. And hopefully they won't do it anymore in the summer because I'm getting tired of like putting things away, putting things back. Ugh, you know, it's just, it's kind of annoying. Oh shit, you guys already know. Upcoming video. <laughs> So they added two more bottles. This is what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> Everybody's here. 